In the documentary, produced by award-winning producer Vanessa Engel, the 72-year-old said she came to the city at the age of 24 to study quantity surveying. She then met Aravinden, the leader of the Workers' Institute of Marxism-Leninism Mao Zedong Thought in the 1970s and, like other members, helped distribute leaflets outside universities. I, I was really inspired by him, you know, and I, I thought he, he was great, you know, to have been able to, you know, clarify our minds as to what to do with our lives, really. Uh, yes, I thought every day uh, it, it was very interesting. I, I was never, ever bored. There's always something new to, to learn. There's something new to do. I mean, everything was... I just c can't imagine I would have uh, had a better life than that. The documentary also revealed about how Aravinden, or better known as Comrade Bala, brainwashed her and others into believing that he was a god and had the power to destroy and cause natural disasters like earthquakes. The cult members were also subjected to daily indoctrination. Aisha also revealed she would get beaten and slapped if she did something wrong. I really felt like running out of the house at that time, but I didn't. I tried hard not to because then I could see that if I had gone out, I had nobody outside. I'd lost contact with my family. I had no money. I had no job. And I might have been deported. In January last year, Aravinden was sentenced to 23 years jail after he was found guilty of raping two of his followers and keeping his own daughter, Katie Morgan Davies, a prisoner since birth. Among those who fell under his control were two other Malaysians, one who died during the stay at the commune and another who gave evidence that she was sexually abused and raped. Aisha, who had voluntarily left Bala and his wife Chanda, is now rebuilding her life, living on her own.